welcome back this is the last lab session of the short term course in computational chemistry this is about simulating uv visible absorption spectrum of a molecule in solvent using time dependent density function theory using simplest alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound that is acrylene let's demonstrate the procedure for obtaining absorption spectrum in orca but the first step should be geometry optimization so in this case i have used exchange correlation functional b3 lip because we are doing the calculation at dft level the basis set is double data basis set opt is a keyword for geometry optimization but additionally i have used a keyword cpcm water because i am performing the calculation in presence of solvent and the solvent is water note solvent effect in quantum chemical calculation is generally done using polarizable continuum model the cpcm stands for conductor like polarizable continuum model where the solvent is represented as a dielectric polarizable continuum and the solute is placed in a cavity of approximate molecular size you'll find detail about this particular model either in orca input library there is a section called continuum solvation if i click on this will be directed to this particular piece look at that the cpcm cpcm stands for conductor like polarizable continuum model and then they provide a table of the solvent which is represented by the respective dielectric constant and the refractive index simply providing this particular keyword cpcm and then in bracket give the name of that solvent but if your desired solvent is not in the list then you have to provide the dielectric constant such as this cpcm then give a block and if you have to provide the value for the epsilon that is dielectric constant and if you wish then you can also provide some detail information so we have performed the geometry optimization in an implicit solvent open the output file and in the search menu if you look for hurray click on find next you see that message the optimization has converged now if i scroll downward you'll find the coordinate the cartesian coordinate of the final optimized geometry you'll find the same information in another file if you visit that particular folder in which we have done the optimization you'll find a file with extension name .xyz so if you open this file with the extension name .xyz the same information about the final optimized geometry is available so you can use this particular geometry just to match it remember this is minus 1.26 1.89.00 now you can use this particular geometry to create input file for absorption calculation and that is done by a method called tddft time dependent density functional theory so let's demonstrate that so go to avogadro and then in the file menu open that output file so directly you'll get the optimized geometry so click on acrylene this output file and if i open that now you can see that file name acrylene optimization dot out and then use extension menu to generate orca input file now look at the coordinate the same set of coordinate just match it this is minus 1.26 1.89.00 let me see that the same minus 1.26 1.89.00 so it means we are taking the same geometry to do our next level of calculation now you can use advanced mode in the control click on dft then in dft change the dft functional to b3 lip then basis set the same basis set double zeta basis set same auxiliary basis set since the geometry optimization was performed in presence of solvent so 
so here also we are required to provide the same keyword so let's take the help of orca input library in the continuum solvation section we'll find that particular keyword so copy this and paste it you can paste it below this particular line and now the most important part of this calculation you have to provide information for excited state calculation so again let's take the help of orca input library you'll find a section excited state calculations below which tddft so this tddft is a time dependent linear response perturbation approximation method which can be used to estimate excited state energies and oscillator strength of electronic transitions so let's use this tddft to obtain absorption spectrum of acrolein if you click on that you'll be directed to this particular page now in orca they use an approximation method tam dankoff approximation to speed up the tddft calculation you can also go for full tddft but this is good enough for doing the calculation now there are different sections so let's use this normal calculation and copy this particular block and paste it at this particular point so you can see that line tddft now the most important thing n root that is the number of excited state you want to calculate so i think for our calculation 20 will be more than enough that's the the value will decide the range of wavelength which you want to cover more the number will go to the higher energy state so since our interest is uv visible region for this particular molecule 20 will be more than enough even 10 will be sufficient and now click on this generate you'll get the input file since i have already performed the calculation so let me show you the input and output files so if i open the input file in notepad you will find the same information that is a section about tddft then the keyword for the implicit solvent model and then information about exchange correlation functional and then basis set and then the same coordinates of the final optimized geometry of acrolein so using this the calculation was performed and if you open the output file that's the output file so let's open this output file directly in avogadro so go to file menu and then open navigate to that desired folder and now if i click on this dot out file that's the acrolein molecule but that's the optimized one and now we want to see that spectrum so go to extension menu you'll find an option called spectra so if i click on this you'll get that particular spectrum so that's the absorption spectrum for acrolein the complete data you can get it from this advanced tab if you click on this that's wavelength versus intensity so the maximum intensity is at around 189 nanometer so that's below 200 nanometer it means this particular molecule is not absorbing in uv visible region but to see the impact of extended conjugation on lambda max i've done two more calculations let me open those files so that's the spectrum of this particular molecule which has two additional double bond compared to acrolein and now you can see that lambda max is at around 293 nanometer earlier it was below 200 nanometer now there is a red shift so with increase in conjugation there is red shift but still it is not in the visible region let's do one more let's see one more file so let me open the file of a very important di molecule this is cumarin 343 
that's the dye molecule used in dye sensitized solar cells. Now, the TDDFT spectrum shows that the maximum peak is at around 377 nanometer. With this, we come to the end of the course. Thank you for participating.